Okay, I'll, uh, I'll do a title. Uh, there it's going now. Oh, where's my teddy bear? Oh, dude, I lost my teddy bear. Hold on. Uh, that's what I use for my, uh, here. Here's Huggy Bear. I use a teddy bear to hold my iPhone. Everybody say hi, Huggy. Hi, I'm Huggy Bear. That's uh, my stupid computers making noise. Be quiet. Oh, my gosh. My speaker just fell to the off the desk. Good Lord, Fonzie. I'm a mess. I can't have things go crazy. So sorry, everyone. I'll do a title for the show after we get done. Uh, my phone overheated, and that's why it locked up. So sorry about that. But uh, I know roughly where we left off. We were talking about feedback you were getting uh, from other teams. Something I was going to... I, I, I had mentioned to you. Let me get you in a better place so they hear you better. Uh there, I think that'll be better. So uh, I'd mentioned Wendell. He he had said, now you know, uh, you said you you, you ain't you ain't gonna be hurt feeling. Uh, he had mentioned that he thinks the tone needs to be improved a little bit for defense. I think he thought it needed to be a little higher. I'm not sure. I don't think I've had you pull out uh, the pin yet, right? Have we listened to your ball yet? Pull up, pull out not, the pin. Yeah. You know what? Uh, yeah, let me let me start. I'm gonna finish for. I gotta get some props, man. Because oh uh, yeah, yeah, that's what you're doing. I'm sorry. And you yeah. know what? And um. What I was saying was like I had a, I got a call today actually from Brandon from right. Austin Blackhawks man and he was telling me that yeah dude I mean yeah you know you know Brandon man that dude can hit yeah nukes, Brandon man. Chesser Freaking Mariano man he can hit nukes and uh, you know so him and Mariano like even his other team they're they're just bombing the ball man and I think he was telling me that yeah man it lasted about three hours man nonstop just pounding the ball wow and then this little beat ball beast comes to the plate named Sara E Hernandez. And she freaking smashes the ball and kills my ball, man. And I'm oh. like, so he tells me, Sada E, kill your ball. I'm like, dude, that's freaking, uh, dude, I, 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 I just got to congratulate Sada E, man. I mean, <laughs> just keep it going because, I mean, you, you got these big old dudes just matching my ball, and this little beat ball beast goes to the plate and just smashes it and kills it. And I'm like, all right, man, good for her, you know? Yeah. And, um, you know, man, it's just a big thing, man. I mean, I, I'm happy to uh, to hear that, you know, because I, I try to make my ball very durable, you know, and if someone kills it, man, I mean, that's power, man. That's all That's all I got to say. Right. And um, I know, like, even uh, Booker Booker uh, had called me and said, you know, that, you know, they were playing, practicing with my ball, and that Eric Rodriguez just smashed on it and killed it. And I'm like, yeah, well, you know, Eric, uh, he's pretty powerful, man. He's a big hitter, man. That dude can freaking <laughs> smash. He rocks. And, uh, that, yeah, that dude, that dude can hit nukes, man. And, you know, so it's looked, and, and to me, even though they killed the ball, it's just, it's, to me, it's more like, man, I, I love it, man, because it's like, it's just, it should be a more of a proud thing, you know, that you can, you know, you smash the ball, you kill it, you know, it's just, yeah. hey, man, that should be something to be happy about, you know, and, uh, but for, for those balls, man, that you kill, all I got to say is like, you know, the ball, it, it's like, I, like I said, man, I try to make it very durable, man, but like I said, that is guaranteed, and, um, and it's just going to get better. That's all I got to say. The no. ball is just going to get better. That's it. I don't, I don't think it's possible to make a beat ball that won't break. You know, that's Dude, it. <laughs> hard. We got some big boys in this league. Uh, it doesn't. Girl, I mean, it, you know, boys and girls, I'm just saying, there's, there's, there's yeah, people yeah. out there that can freaking smash. Yeah, and, yeah. And, uh, you know, and yeah, we got some big hitters, man. And, I, and that's the, the, to me, like I said, remember the uh, offense is my deal, man. I'm telling you, <laughs> right. you can smash. I love it. You know, but Dude, go ahead, man. What you got, Neil? Let us hear that thing, man. Unplug it. You want to hear it? Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So let me start off by saying, okay. So you know, the feedback has made me change a little bit. I love. I, I take feedback. I guess it's constructive. So. It was a little faster, then I slowed it down a little bit. So basically, right now, this is more of a final product. And let me know what you guys think. All right. <laughs> that thing's okay. loud, dude. You know, uh, you know uh, Joseph O'Neill from uh, the Boston Renegades? Uh, he, he, yeah. uh, a friend of his, uh, Lauren, I, I can't remember her last name, purchased a ball for him. And, uh, uh he, he, he was bragging how, how loud it was. He said, when he unplugs yeah. it, he's got to plug it back in because it, because it's too loud. 
I think I think his name is Scooby, bro. I like I don't call him Joe. I call him Scooby, man. Okay. I, I think that's a that's a badass name. A, a, bad, <laughs> a bad name. That that's no. My when I could when I could see, I I had eyesight till I was almost eleven, and Scoo, Scooby Doo <laughs> Scooby Doo is you know, my favorite. And you know what, man? I like Scooby Man because he, he was sending me messages like, "Hey, man, I just checking in." I'm like, you know what, man? I love Scooby Man because I can tell he's very passionate about the game, and. Uh, you know what, man? I want to add this in there because I know um, I, I like to ship to two-day uh, two shipping, uh, yeah, priority yeah. USPS two-day. Because uh, you know what? My thing is, like, I want the ball to get to you as fast as possible, right? right? right. And I don't want it be sitting somewhere, be thrown around all day, you know? Be, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me. So anyways, man, and I got to throw this out there because I feel, I feel like, man, so the one package, that the one player that was calling me, it, he was so excited about the ball – and dude, his, the delivery gets lost. Oh man! Right, it gets lost. Yeah. And I'm like, man, I just feel horrible, man. I just feel so horrible because the one player that kept t- sending me messages about, hey man, I can't wait to get the ball, and that's the package that get lost, right? So what I did was, you know, I said, I, I sent him an email, man. I said, don't worry about it, man. I'm gonna take care of you. Guess what? I freaking I built up a brand new ball, man, a brand new shiny ball with a brand new charger in it, man. I sent it to it again. Dang. I sent it to him again, and he, uh, at no cost, man, and I took care of him, man. And, and when he sent me an email saying, hey, man, the ball sounds awesome, you know, man, it's just that's the kind of stuff I love to hear, man. And, and, and for him to be happy about it, be excited about it, man, that just – you know, man, that just, I'm telling you, man, that keeps me going, man. I love it, you know? So, no, but man. that, uh, good pro- props to you. I mean, that's a good business product, you know what Shout I mean? Out Scooby, pe- man. Pe- Shout pe- out to Scooby, yeah. <laughs> People so. remember getting taken care of like that, you know what I mean? That's a good uh, business product. You said you got into you know, business, so. Yeah, you know, t- okay. Well, you know, okay, so you, as you know, man, I mean, uh, oh, I mean, just say, this, this is not my get rich scheme. You know what I'm saying? This is more like it's just this is my love for the game, dude. It's just to keep the game going. I mean, it's an alternative ball, man. You know, like I said, I put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into this program, man, this project, and. You know, like Mariano from the Austin Blackhawks, man, he told me he had an issue with one of the balls that he got, man. And you know what? I said, send it back to me, man. I'm going to fix it for you, man. No charge. And I sent it back to you, you know. And, and, and that's just the way I work, man. It's just like I want you guys to enjoy the game and, and just to enjoy the ball, you know, and yeah. have a good time with it, man. So, well, but also yeah. somebody somebody who loves the sport, like we can't assume that balls are going to be around forever. You know what I mean? We're – we're a small part of the world, really, that depends on those things, and they're not a high priority in in 99.9% of the population. So, like, we can never assume. It, it, it's been a blessing that we've had beat balls for 45 years, you know what I mean? But <laughs> but to have them for another 45 years, like, some somebody you know, like man, you, people got to keep that rolling, you know what I mean? Hey, man, listen, uh, I'm going to – this is my retirement project, man. You know, <laughs> this is more like – I think I'm going to be doing this forever, man. You know, I, I just, like, I love this game. You I know, I love this that. game. I feel I, I fell in love with it, man. And, and uh, you know, it's just it's just crazy how, like, my, my, whole, my whole thing is just to keep this game going, man. And if I could do anything to keep it going, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, and, you know, like, you know can you, if I, when I retire one day, man, this is going to so keep me busy. You know, right. I just, all right. these oldest companies, it's going to keep me busy, man. Just keep producing beat balls, man. And, you know, so yeah, so that's my thing, man. That this is my this is my this is my plan. <laughs> so how big, like how how big, like um, it sounded like the Renegades, like their team got a whole like shipment of them. How, like how how much production are you doing right now? Man, you know what? Um, that there's some orders that I need to fill now. You know what I mean? So I actually shot them email saying I appreciate their patience because the Boston Renegades held me up for a little bit, you know. And uh, but much love to Rob, man, from the Boston Renegades, man, Rob Wiseman. I mean, that dude showed me a lot of love, man. And uh, so he put a big order in. He put an order for for fourteen beat balls, man. Nice. And uh, and it can, you know what? My thing is with, with, when Rob sent me that. He, he sent me a check for those 14 beat balls, man. You know what? It took a little while because I, you know what? I was like, let me order some brand new parts just to rock, <laughs> you know, yeah. just to rock. I'm going to order some brand new parts, you know, and and, uh, and to, just to make the ball better. And, and that's what I did. But so right now, all the parts right now, you know, like I said, I try to make the ball better. That's it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so everyone, like, you know, it's, it's, it was a phase, man. You had the first phase, and now the all the the, the, the the balls that are coming out right now, man, are just like uh, they're getting better as we go, you know. And for everyone that's put 
orders in so far, man. I appreciate all the love. You know, it, it's crazy because that the, those, uh, you know, like I said, I'm not trying to get rich, man. But, but the money that I get is to is to order better parts. Right. You see what I'm right. saying? Yeah, yeah. It's re order, re reinvest yeah. re reinvest into the product. Yeah. yeah. Because right now I can order more high quality parts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. Right, first, Keep building you know, up. You know, as you know, man, I was coming out of pocket for a long time. I'm out of pocket, man. I'm just like, man, how can I build this ball where I can get it, you know, as, as, as cheap as possible, a good product as cheap as possible. That was my goal, right? It's like trying to make it more affordable. You yeah, see yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And um, because the, and my, my thing for that is like, you, you don't know, man. You can hit the ball one time and you kill it. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? But that, I mean, it, it doesn't matter who you know? makes a ball. We're, we're going to, we face like, uh, you know, I consider myself a consumer. I've bought a lot of beat balls. So, yeah. uh, you know, like that, that's something everybody that buys a beat ball knows going in. You know what I mean? Like if you yeah. get a whole shipment of balls that die on the first hit, you know, you're thinking, well, we, we got to do something about this. But uh, I mean, we, <laughs> we, we know ahead of time that there, I, I tell people that when I do public speaking, it's like, man, the thing about our ball is. Like there's no, you don't know if it's going to last a whole game or a one hit. It, it's unpredictable, yeah. totally unpredictable. Yeah, but you know, like to me, man, I try to make it uh, feasible for everybody, man, because everyone, everyone has different financial situations, man. It's like, yeah, yeah. you know, they drop thirty five. Like, I, I mean, I don't charge thirty five dollars, but I mean, they could drop thirty five dollars for another ball and this one hat, and that's it. It's done. Yeah. And. My thing is like, man, I'm trying to make it where at least a la uh, at least last, you know, a few, uh, quite a few hacks, man, you yeah. know, and get your money's worth, right. you know. So get what, what, worth. what are you charging? Yeah. What's the price of your ball? Uh, so right now for a brand new ball, it's thirty three dollars, man. All it's right. thirty three dollars for a brand new ball, um, and also I do char I do have a, a a refurbished process that I have. So if you want to send me like your uh. You know, any ball that you have right now, I, I could I could rebuild a new chamber and put it into the existing ball now. So, so like have, any so. any ball, any ball they got sitting around, or one of your yeah. balls. All right, no, any no, no. ball. Any, any, any ball, ball they got okay. sitting around. Okay. And I can and I can refurbish it for thirty dollars. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's so, um, but you know, I try to make it real affordable, man. I know it's hard. I, it, I just try to make it real affordable. Um, I do highly recommend my charger, man, because I uh, I, I I actually build uh, a smart charger. It's a smart charger that oh, actually okay. turns off when it's fully charged. Okay. And it protects it. because you have to understand, man, with these balls, man. It, I mean, you have to protect the battery. Yeah, yeah. Period. Yeah. You got to protect the battery because that's the that's the source, right? And, yeah, um, makes sense. So what what I have, I build a uh, a battery charger. Uh, uh, that's smart, right? That actually turns off when it's fully charged. It it, it cuts off, so it it just it just saves life on the battery. So yeah. I really highly recommend that you order it. You know, so how how um, much extra is the charger? The uh, there's a two ball charger that uh, I charge fifteen dollars for, okay. and it's more like yeah. So the charger itself, I mean, uh, it's 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 a good charger, man. It's smart. It's a smart charger, and uh, so I build it for fifteen dollars. All right, and. Um, so but, so uh forty eight bucks gets you the the charger a good smart charger and a ball that's reasonable yeah well yeah yeah that that's reasonable but I mean it just depends I mean I gotta charge just a little bit for shipping um because um, you know of course I you know I charge uh I like to charge the USPS a two day priority shipping right so I mean I like to charge it to get to you as fast as possible you know what I mean so yeah, yeah. Um, so whatever, uh, someone, somebody will send me an email and they'll give me their address, their shipping address. So I'll reply back, Hey, you know, this, this is the total cost for a ball and a charger to ship to your address, you know, and I let them right. know like that. And, right. uh, and that's how it works. Yeah. How, uh, if, if, uh, people listening want to get in touch with you and, and order, um, something, how do you want them to get in touch with you? What's the best way? Um, uh, well, no, they, they shoot me an email. I think, my. Uh, it's kind of funny how um, I think on the ABBA uh, webpage, there's my there's my information on there. I haven't oh, even okay. looked at it yet, man. It's kind of funny, <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah. So my my email is Alfonso underscore Medrano at Yahoo dot com, and what they do is uh, people will send me an email on what they want. Like say if they want four V balls in the charger, and I reply. And uh, so what they do is they add their address on there, and I reply back with the total cost. So okay. the total cost that I that I reply with is the total cost that includes shipping. Oh, okay. And uh, 
Yeah, and um, you know, and oh, you know what? I got to throw this out there, man. Uh, Richie Flores from the San Antonio Jets, right. man. You know what I Jet did for life. him? Um, so he was telling me he sends me an email. He sends an email to me saying hey, he wants to order a couple balls or whatever, and I'm like, okay, cool, man. He said, uh, yeah, man. Um, my he says his sister lives in Houston, and I'm like, oh, you know what I can do for you, man? I said, so I built the ball for him and I actually dropped it off at his sister's house. Yeah, right? cool. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, same uh, low, same low you know, cash. What, yeah, man. It's yeah. like if, if I could do that to help, hey, man, I'll do it. Heck you know, yeah. it's no big yeah, deal. Yeah. So I just I did that personal drop off to him, drop off service to him, man, and I'm really hoping he's, I'm hoping he's enjoying the beat balls, man, and you know, so yeah. You know, you you mentioned that the MBBA's uh, website has your info on there, so people could get in touch with you. So you know, people can yeah. go to mbba.org and they'll and and you find that. I I gotta give props to the MBBA, uh, you know, allowing you know what I mean, helping you out, get get the word out or whatever. That's that's probably yeah, the right, best yeah. way. I mean, that's that's our biggest audience. You know what I mean? So that, yeah. that that's the best way for for people to find out about it. So I'm glad they're they're letting you do that. You know, yeah, man, much love to the NDBA, man. Much love to, like, the board, uh, to Blake Boudreaux, the president, you know. Um, because, you know, man, when I get support from them, it, it feels great, you know. Oh, it's, sure. it's a great yeah. feeling that I get support from them. Right. Um, you know, and like I, I, and I've, I've, met, I've let it know, and it's like, man, you know, one day I would love to see my ball being played in a World Series game. And it's something that I look at, look forward to, man. I think, I think that'd be really great. You know, I think that'd that, be really fun for me to see that. Yeah. Where, where does that stand? I mean, I realize, you know, you, if, if you've had a confidential conversation, I'm not asking you to share anything private, but like, where does that stand? Have you approached the board? Like, um, is, is that in the works a possibility? Uh, but, okay. Um, you know, we have meetings and everything to see how my project is going. And, um, but you know, man, we leave it at that. You know. Okay. Okay. They, 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 That's they just fair. Update on how the project is going, and uh, I let them know that it's doing very well, and uh, you know, it's, the project is going actually extremely well because now, man, I just have it down where, you know, it, it it's crazy, Neil, is that I mean, an idea will pop in my head, right? And I'm like. You know what? Dang, that's an idea. So I go to my <laughs> shop, man. And I start putting it to work. You know, like yeah, uh, yeah. you know. And, right. So that's what I do, man. And I also uh, for the for the players, man. For the people that I, I want them to be confident when they put in orders because I have a QC process as well, man. I mean, I don't just just make a ball and just ship it. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. More like, yeah. If it, if it, dude, I got a uh, I got a whole box full of full of circuits, man. That just didn't pass my my QC process, man. If it don't pass my QC, I don't ship it. I just it's like it just. It's just way it's just money gone, you know. You, you know what's cool and, for me listening to you talk about it. It's really almost like more like listening to an artist talk about like, <laughs> like you know what I mean. You're not gonna send out any drawings or anything until you 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 yeah. feel like until you feel like you're representing your talent right. You know what I mean? That's and, cool. Like let me tell you, like uh, for the people like you know if they're, if they're curious, man. Like I'll, I'll build my circuit and what I do, I'll press it and everything. And if it changes any kind of pitch, if it changes tone. I throw it in a box. You know, it has to stay constant. You know, okay. there has to be no change in difference. And also, yeah. I build it, and I just like, dude, I hammer. <laughs> it's kind of funny, man, but I got a hammer, and I hammer my freaking circuit. I hammer it, man. It's just like <laughs> just to make sure it's gonna, it's not gonna die. You know? <laughs> yeah. And um, and I'm banging it on the table a few times. You know, it's just I have a funny process. Man. Um, you must but, drive your family crazy. <laughs> Yeah, man, I do, man. My wife's she's going crazy, man. But you know what? It's all about the love of the game, dude. And and, and like I said, man, it's more of a. I wanna. I want people to understand is that when I when I ship you something, man, it's just something that I put a lot of love into it, and it's just something I just put together and threw it to you, you know. Yeah. yeah. Um. You know, so uh, like I said, man, it, it has to pass my QC process before I ship it. Now, sometimes, you know, if, if something happens with the ball, man, like I said, I can't guarantee it because I don't know during the delivery process. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah. They're, I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah. But just let me know. Um, let, let the people just let me know. Hey, this is, hey, man, is it for some reason there's something wrong? You let me know what's wrong with it, man. It just, hey, I'll fix it mm. for you, man. Don't, don't worry about it. I'll take care of you. No, don't you know? hesitate to give the man feedback. He's hungry just for the give feedback. Give the feedback, man. Because, like I said, at the end of the day, man, the feedback is what makes me better. It's make it makes the ball better. It makes me understand. It lets me understand what's wrong. Like, how can I fix it? And I'll improve it. You know, that's what that's what's just gonna make the the, the ball better, man. 
So I, all the feedback that I get, whether it's negative or positive, I, I, I accept all of it, you know? Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. It's the only way to make a product better. Man, before we before we part, I got to ask you about something. What's up? How is my nephew doing as your guy's spotter out there with the ball, you oh, city heat? Oh, man. Trajan oh, Anthony. Trajan? Uh, Trajan Anthony, my little nephew. <laughs> man, I don't even know what I can say about Trajan, man. Uh, that boy Trage is a natural man. That dude. That he's a natural. we've been talking he's about. Been, we've been talking about our love for beatball. That kid loves beatball. I mean, all all Seth's uh, kids do. All three of them. But man, <laughs> Trey Trey told Seth he doesn't. Trey don't even care, man. I'll, I'll you know I'll go to the World okay. Series whether you go or not. You could stay home. I'll go to the tournament. You, you know, know? Man, I got. Let me just be straight up with you, man. You know, some people just have a natural ability athletic ability it's yeah, natural yeah, yeah. and uh and Trajan has it man i mean that dude i mean that that dude can he can spot bro i, I mean right off the bat he calls a number and it's ridiculous how how good the, it is it's awesome no, that's um, crazy and for if Trajan, man we we need him if we want to win we need him it, and, it, um, it it makes me want to play again that he's out on like he he grew up after i stopped playing and with his love for the game <laughs> it literally makes me want to play again just so i could see what it's like to be out on the field with uh, him man, neil and i'm gonna tell you right now like i said man i'm an offensive dude offense is my i love offense right but defense dude dude we like i'm gonna put it like this man what uh, we need spotting spotting is a big key to defense oh, yeah. right oh, yeah. for everything and, uh, and and what i'm saying is trajan has it man oh, he, yeah. has Absolutely. That, he has that natural ability to spot to like call the just call the play right off yeah, the bat yeah. and and if you can call the play right off the bat dude that is like dude the, the defense is just it makes it so much easier on the defense yeah. to make the play Man, and, uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not trying to take anybody's job away, but uh, in addition to that, man, you know the boy has a little knack for pitching, also. Man, does, 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 does Bam Bam? Does Bam? <laughs> he's gonna take your oh, job. Man. Did Bam Bam show you? He's got. He's got uh, little videos of Trajan pitching to him, dude. He's hitting man, bombs. I'm gonna, tell you, I'm gonna tell you right now, man. He's um, hitting bombs. Oh, this is Oklahoma, Neil. Oklahoma, man. And uh, we were in the parking lot, man, and Trey just throwing some pitches. Oh, too. right. I was, actually, I was on the phone with Seth. He called me right and told me, but I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. He called me from your your yeah, little midnight Trey, game you guys had. <laughs> yeah, Trey, Trey just is pitching, man, and I'm like, what the heck, Trey? Just, <laughs> all right, you know? And, um... Uh, you know, man, I think uh, Trajan, he just has a natural ability to be, a, I mean, just to be great, you know. And, and uh, yeah. I mean, right now, man, he uh, he can definitely pitch, man, definitely. But, I mean, uh, spotting, man, he's right on point with right. spotting. He's on point, you know. And, uh, yeah, man, I mean, I think uh, I think Trajan, man, I just, you know, like I know Bam Bam says he's going to retire every year, man. I'm sorry, Bam Bam, if you're listening. Yeah. I don't try to call you out, man, but you can't go nowhere, bro. You Bam, can't go nowhere. Bam Bam and uh, Bam Bam and Danny Fapiano are two people that announce their retirement like every hey, year. <laughs> you know what? Oh man, Danny, I'm glad you brought up Danny. So Danny, um, what I want to add is Danny Fapiano. I think he's one of my first orders, man. Oh, okay. And uh, dude, I let like, much love, much love to Danny, man. I mean, oh, that's he, my he, brother. He, he 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 made a, he put an order in. he showed me some love and put some order in man and um he gave me some great feedback on it man and you know and uh, if it wasn't for I mean I, I, if it wasn't for him dude I think uh, I think he was a um I'm not like I said I'm not a Facebook fanatic man but I think he put a post up um you know kind of he you know and I, Pro probably that, probably would have been his wife or not a Danny's not a Facebooker <laughs> either. <laughs> One thing about Danny, man, is that I know is that I think he's, you know, he's uh he's gonna speak his mind and he's not gonna hold his thing back. You, know? you think? Uh, yeah, he'll speak his mind, and it, you know, and the thing about it is like if Danny's gonna put something on there, man, he's gonna it's gonna be some real shit. I'm sorry, some real stuff. <laughs> You're um, good. It's, whether it's negative or positive, it's gonna be real about it. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And no, I he's, he's it, not gonna know? sugarcoat um, nothing. Yeah, and uh, so, you know, so I remember Danny put an order in, and he's like, yeah, man, I had this practice with this ball, man. We were smashing on it, and it went very well. Um, and, but he did give me some stuff that I can work on, which I appreciate. And he said that there was one ball that wasn't louder than the other one. So what I did was, I think in his first order, he didn't order a charger. 
And oh, okay. uh, I said, I said, I said, Danny. He so Danny calls me. I said, Danny, man, look, let me let me send you a charger at no charge, man. I'm just gonna mail it to you. And sure enough, man, he got the charger. He charged it up, man, and boom, it was loud. So, um, you know, and I appreciate that, man. It's just this things like that that, like I said before, it makes me get better, makes the ball get better, and all that love, man, is what I appreciate, man. I really appreciate the love. So, well, yeah, shout out to Danny, man. I appreciate it. Well, I hope that uh, my listeners give you some more love, start reaching out and uh, keeping you busy, man. Let you do what you love. I appreciate you yeah. coming on here and telling everybody about it, dude. I think people enjoyed this. Yeah, I did. Man, uh, I also, did. Like, yeah, man. Like, don't, don't be, don't hesitate to to shoot me an email, man. Let me know if you have any questions and. Uh, you know, shout out to the Bayou City Heat again, man. Coach <laughs> JC, you know, get JC, man. He's a to me, he's a great coach, man. Um, you know, like I said, that's the big man, dude. That's a that's a, that's a really <laughs> big man. And, and uh, you know, he when he says, man, he, you know, he means it. You know, so. <laughs> okay. he's he's another one with one of those football backgrounds. You know what oh, I mean? Oh man, that dude, that boy there brings the football you, mentality. Oh yeah, that Texas football, baby. That <laughs> Texas football, man. And uh, that boy, he put you on your back if you if you ain't, if you ain't careful, you know. So, um, oh man, oh uh, hey Neil, yeah, uh, a little bit off of beatball, but I know I had some. Um, just want to give you guys a. Uh, uh, I know there's a lot of beatball players, man. I love football. They love contact sport, man. Um, so I want to let them know, man, that I'm actually gonna build the football for them. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put together a football. Uh, you know, just to test out, man. You know, they can throw the ball around. Maybe they can. You know, it, it, I think that'll be fun, man. So just to just keep just keep that on, on you know man, on can, the can, on the agenda. So. Can I give you some foot some feedback as someone who, who's had a couple beeping footballs? Yeah, uh, go ahead. Well, one uh, like the very first one, I I don't even know. My mom was amazing at finding stuff that I don't even know how she found it because I can't find it. And I've been in the blind world for 40 years. But not too long after I lost my eyesight, she bought me a, a beeping football. But, man, that thing weighed like eight pounds. You know, like, for one, <laughs> you couldn't throw it. You couldn't throw oh, it nowhere. Man. But even if no. somebody threw it at me, I would run out of the way. I mean, it was a bowling ball, dude. It was huge. Yeah. But I have another one now. I think I bought it from Independent Living Aids way back yeah. in the day. It was a beeping Nerf ball, and I ended up like losing the charger or whatever. Actually, when uh, we were just talking about Seth's kids, when they come over, they still play with it because it's the only football I have, but the beep's gone in it. But I, I think that if you do that, you should consider with the ball – Football is like a ball in the air kind of thing. I, I think the yeah. nerf the nerf football is a better idea than than a heavier. Well, well football. that's the thing because so let, I'll finish with this with the football thing, man. Because you know I've been looking online and I'm trying to find that real high quality nerf football, like real, okay. real high quality nerf, right? Yeah, yeah. So because um, I've had some requests, man. Like you know, of course, from, you know from. Uh, Bayou City Heat players, man, and uh, like you know, well before it was Joe and Jacory, and then I had some some San Antonio Jet players, man, that were thinking about it, man, like uh, like Zach and Axel. Okay. Um, you know, they were like, hey, man, what about a football? So, you know, no, most definitely, man, I would love to put my circuit to a football. You know, right. and you know, man, you know what I would love? I would love to see some of these blind dudes go at each other, man, just bang each other. You know? <laughs> I think that'd be fun, man. Man. And but. But you know, I think uh, you know, it's just it's just another thing, man. I think they'll have a lot of fun. I mean, I guess you know, you know, we don't want any injuries. You know, I, I was so. just gonna say, I'll throw the ball around with folks. You, <laughs> I am not the fool. You, I am not the guy you're gonna see out there like lining it up. <laughs> I get, no, I maybe, get. Maybe, maybe uh, you know, maybe a flag football. We'll, we'll figure it out. Man. Yeah. But, you know, something you know, competitive, just guys, something. Because like... those, those guys were like, you know, little things like that. And you know what? I think about it. You know, so I, I'm sure I can actually build one for them. Um, maybe, maybe in the next World Series, man. Hopefully, I'm not sure, but but this year. Um, but you know, of course, I'm gonna build one and I'll take it with me and let them play with it, man. Let me, let me you know, kind of see what they think about it and. You know, I, I would love to see, maybe I, so if I could throw the ball in the air and they can catch it, oh man, I think that'd be great, you know? Dude, so. even, even if it didn't create, um, even if it didn't create like a game per se, like an organized game, just the fact that blind parents could throw a football around with their kids or blind kids yeah. could throw, throw a football around with their parents. A uh, slided parent, you yeah, know what I mean? It, course, or both man. of them being blind. Either way, you know, it, it it offers options, I guess, more than anything of is course. what I'm saying. Even, you know, even if course, 
Go ahead. No, 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 no. Like I was saying, of course, like in Texas, man, you know, Texas is big on football. Oh, yeah, man, yeah, you yeah. Know? <laughs> football, I mean, you it's know, the so. number one sport for the ratings wise. So it's yeah. big everywhere, you know, and I know it is yeah. big in Texas. I know you're right, but it's big everywhere. Like, you know what I mean? It's a popular thing. People like to do, parents it like is. to do with their kids, kids like to do with each other, whatever. So, it yeah, is. man, work on that. Get it done, son. Oh man, you know that's like that's just another thing on my on my radar, man. And, you know, for sure. You know, just one thing that I, one thing that I can do, man, is like if you have a request or something, man, I'll get it done, man. I'll figure it out. You know, that's yeah. one thing that I do. I'll figure things out, man. Whether it's it, it could be challenging, but I tell you what, you can count on me to figure shit out, figure stuff out, man. You know, and, uh, I like that. A uh, get it doneer. You're a get yeah, it doneer. All right. Yeah, man. <laughs> well, Fonty, man, right. I think we've done enough for these people uh, between our two <laughs> two things. Sorry about the interruption, but thanks so much, man, for coming on. I really appreciate it. Oh, this man. Is, this honored, is good man. time. I appreciate it. You it's know, good uh, time. like I said, every, to, just want to send a shout out to all the players out there, man, that show love for this game, be real passionate. Hey, keep putting the work in, man. That's, a, that's how you're going to get better. Um, you know, again, to the Bayou City Heat, man, that's my family, man. I love those boys and girls, man. So uh, let's keep it going. And um, um, as far as this year, man, like I said, let's keep your hopes up, man. I'm not sure what's going to happen, but, you know, uh, let's just keep moving forward, man. And uh, like I said, we'll see each other again real soon. Um, if you guys see me out there in the next World Series, man, come at me, man. I'm very approachable. Come ask me questions or whatever, man. Come have a shot with me, you know. And uh, I'm the, hey, listen, if you got tequila, man, I'll be there, you know. So let me know. <laughs> you know, you had said yeah. earlier nobody knows you. Everybody knows you. Nobody's ever sat down and talked to you, probably. But everybody I'm, knows you. Everybody knows fine. <laughs> I'm that I'm that I'm that low key kind of guy, man. Um, I keep it low. I keep it low key, man. But I tell you right now, man. After a few shots, man, I'm a party animal, man. So just come at me, you know. <laughs> I bet this is the most, just like myself. This is the most that most uh, that people have ever heard you talk. Uh, the outside your team, <laughs> outside of your team. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, man. But. All yeah. right, dude. This was fun, man. Thanks a lot, Fonzie. I really appreciate it, dude. It's good talking Thank with you. you. It's been years, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Much love for everybody, man. Y'all take care of yourselves, man. I appreciate it. All right, brother. Thank good you. luck with your ball, dude. I'll be following Thank you. Thank you. All right. Peace. You guys take care, man. All right. Bye-bye. All, right, bye. All right, everybody. Uh, Fonzie, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Oh, that's my other, my iPad talking. I was like, oh, no, what I do now? I'm going to get out of here for this thing overheats again. It's all hot. <laughs> uh, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Be well uh, for the rest of the Memorial weekend. I never feel comfortable saying, hey, happy Memorial Day. You know, it doesn't, doesn't make sense. I'll just say be well. My thoughts are with everybody. Think of those we've lost. And be smart uh, for all of us going forward. All right, peace, everybody. Uh, big show next week. Um, might even try to squeeze something in during the week. This is a big week for people, so try to keep you guys uh, thinking about our sports. Hope I've been holding my phone all right. Let's nine viewers. See, uh, hey, comment section. Nine viewers. Darnell Booker is watching. What's happening? Hey, Darnell. Invite always, to go live with. But comment. Uh, finish. Button. Uh, there's finish button. I always appreciate you listening, brother. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a, have a great uh, rest of the weekend.